three judges of this bench having recused and or disqualified themselves from further hearing, uh, further hearing this matter. There was no competent court before which the application could be properly made. The matter ends there. It is this statement from Chief Justice Dr. Willem Mutunga that in effect signaled the fall of the hammer on the beginning of the end of the careers of two senior most judges in the judiciary. The two began their law journey back in 1970s. Not even senior counsel Feroz Norji could convince this three judge bench on the need for the two judges to stay on at least for another 21 days, so much that the judges even walked out of the courtroom. Aware that their dissenting opinion on the matter has become less popular, Justices J.B. Ojuang and Jo Kindungu decided to play safe by not showing up in the courtroom altogether. Lady Justice Rawal has 40 years' experience in the legal profession, having been admitted to the bar as an advocate of the High Court in 1975. She was the first woman lawyer to set up a law firm in Kenya in 1975. She then joined the judiciary as a High Court judge in 2000. Having served as appellate court judge for quite some time, she found herself ascending to the position of Deputy Chief Justice in 2013, following the resignation of Nancy Barasa. Her father was a retired judge of the Senior Court of Gujarat and her grandfather was Deputy Law Minister in the state of Kuch, India. On the other hand, Justice Philip Tunoy has a checkered career, but which has been threatened by a 200 million bribery claim. He was the provincial state council in Nyanza and western regions from 1971 to 1973 before quitting to engage in private practice. He was appointed judge at the High Court in 1987, but six years later he was appointed to serve as judge of the Court of Appeal, and thereafter in 2011 he landed a position at the inaugural Supreme Court until his exit this week. He holds a PhD in philosophy. The two leave the judiciary with a common denominator. Theirs has been an illustrious career whose tail end has to say the least been tainted. It is now practically over for the two judges, that is Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal and her counterpart, Justice Philip Tunoy, after their application to have the judgment that was delivered on Tuesday to be stayed was disallowed. For Channel One News, my name is Haligan Agade reporting from the Supreme Court, Nairobi.